Hey everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to prepare artichokes because let's face it, they can look a little bit confusing. They're well worth the effort though because they provide so many beneficial qualities. The one that I'm going to be focusing on today is artichokes help liver function. Consuming artichoke helps move bile and fat along, so in a way it's helping your liver detoxify cholesterol and toxins from your body. I'm going to be showing you how I prepare them. I ended up steaming them, but you can always roast them or toss them in soups. The first few steps are both the same. But first, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel and then end up subscribing to it. Artichoke can come with prickly tips, which for your safety should be removed. It looks like mine have already been taken care of, but if your artichokes still have prickly tips, go around and around the artichoke to cut them all off with a pair of kitchen scissors. You don't have to focus too much on staying close to the tips, as the leaves are mostly inedible anyway. When I come close to the apex, I just cut the tips off with a knife. Then I spread the leaves apart with my fingertips so that I can swish them thoroughly with water. Once the artichoke has been cleaned, I cut off the bottom stem so that it can sit upright in the steamer and I steam them for about 30 to 45 minutes. Meanwhile, I can prepare a dip starting with grating some garlic. Add a splash of balsamic vinegar and some extra virgin olive oil. Remember to mix vigorously. To eat, you're removing the leaves one by one and using your teeth to scrape off the soft parts from the insides of the leaves. As you approach the center, the leaves become softer and you can bite off more. At the centermost part of your artichoke is a sort of booby trap to the best part of this vegetable. Remove the prickly hairs by scooping it out with a spoon. You want to make sure to get all of the hairs, but not scoop out too much of the edible heart. If you accidentally eat the thistles, it'll be very uncomfortable in your mouth and throat, but if you remove them properly, the heart you're left with is super delicious. For more kitchen how-tos, nutrition recipes, and yoga stuff, please visit my website at www.happyholistics.ca.